hello everyone so in this flying car system i have implemented previously i implemented a way to keep the same angle uh, of the camera when we enter the car so as you just uh, see now uh, the same angle is used when the character enters the car and it doesn't change it only adjusts the spring arm length but when we exit I had not implemented that same smooth camera transition for the character so now I am going to implement that too so here is the preview now when we exit the car and when we have the control back on the character we still have the same angle just like we had when we were in the car let me show that again We keep this angle. Alright, see? Now we have the same angle. Alright, so let's see how to do this today. And this episode is sponsored by this general spare truck. Thank you very much for your support. Right, so at the moment, uh, when I enter the car, the camera transition works all right. It doesn't change the angle, it just uh, adjusts the length of the spring arm to match the car's spring arm length. So, right but when I exit let me do it again but if I exit the angle changes see so instead of coming it like that what I need to have is uh, we should keep the same angle uh, as it was before so for that uh, i think we can do the same thing did for the car which is uh, this is start interaction and here we do control transition when the character possess the car we do it like this attach this spring attach camera oh no here here first we set the location word location uh, of the camera of this car born uh, to the world location of the current camera component that means in this case the player character so yeah let's try the same thing when we transfer the control back to the player so um, let me open the third person character So how do we exit the car? Here. Here we simply call this exit car event. So where is it? Here, exit car. So after exiting car, we just possess the character. So actually we already set the world location of the follow camera to the current location of the camera that is active at the moment that means the car's camera but we don't do any change to 
the spring arm so that's the problem here so after setting this uh, curl transform let's detach the follow camera from the spring arm by calling this detach component everything should be kept word then we possess so after that let's again yeah we get player controller set control rotation with the current rotation of the camera So by doing that we can match the current rotation of the camera with the control rotation so, uh, uh, to the control rotation so we will have the same angle when we reattach the follow camera back to the spring arm because the spring arm is inheriting inheriting the control rotation so before doing that i think we have to give some delay this then let's reattach the camera to the spring arm parent is camera bow everything should be kept word then we can uh, uh, then we can uh, remove the local relative offsets of location and rotation by doing this so this will match the camera's attached position at the end of camera bow shall we try this okay let me keep an angle like this right exit great now we have the same angle right let me keep this angle Right. All right, and that's it. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link could be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.